All right, this is my recording on how to share a recording. First thing you need to do is go to one of your Blackboard shells here. And I'll go to a Blackboard shell where I made a recording earlier today. You're in your Blackboard shell. Go to Tools. And under Course Tools, go to Blackboard Collaborate Ultra. Blackboard Collaborate Ultra. Click it. And what you're going to see is you're going to see your sessions. Now, if your session's expired, you're not going to see it there. You're also not going to see your recording there. To find your recordings, see where it has those three bars up here? You've got sessions, and then you have the three bars one, two, three. Click the three bars, and you get this right here. Click Recordings, and you should see your recording. Now, chances are you may not see it. A couple reasons you won't see it. First, it takes 10 to 15 minutes for Blackboard to process that recording. The other reason you may not see it is Blackboard will only show you that recording after you've refreshed a lot of the time. Otherwise, you may have to wait 24 hours. If you don't know how to refresh your Blackboard shell, see the little circle button right here? I'm pointing at it with only one finger, which is rude. According to Disney's guide, you're supposed to point with two. But there I am. See the little thing there? You click that. It refreshes your Blackboard shell. And your recording will usually appear after that. So recordings. OK. So now you see the recording that you made. Here at the end of your recording, you're going to see these three little dots, recording options. Download or copy link are the two things that you're most interested in. Copying link allows you to share that Blackboard recording inside of Blackboard. It also goes away as soon as this course goes away. So this isn't a way you can share the recording and have it exist every semester. If you're wanting to have it exist every semester, you're going to have to download it, and we'll talk about that next. But if you're just wanting to share this recording this semester inside this course, copy the link. All right, that link's copied. Go to the place in Blackboard where you want to put that link. In other words, one of your content areas. So I'm going to Dr. Kelly's lectures here. Here's the content area where I want to share my recording. I'm going to go to Build Content. I'm going to go to Web Link. Build Content Web Link. Where it says URL, I'm going to paste in what I just copied. Then I'm going to name it. A couple things. I always like to make sure that I have it set to open in a new window. Otherwise, it appears really small to the students. I'm going to make sure that I have permitted the students to view it. And I always like to track the number of views just so that I can confirm it's actually being listened to. I then hit submit. And you can see the syllabus um, virus link there that we just created. If you click it, open a new window. And it'll take a while, and all your student has to do is hit play up there or play down here in the corner, and either way, it'll play. All right. Glad to see everybody. Actually, I don't get to see everybody, but you can see me, which is really good. Well, so you can see it works there. Um, that's one way to share the video, but let me remind you again if you do it this way, 
it will disappear whenever this coarse shell disappears. So it's not a sustainable way of um, sharing it. How I like to share it is like this. Here's the second way to share it. Go back to Course Tools, go back to Blackboard Collaborate Ultra. So I'm back in my Course Tools, back in my Blackboard Collaborate Ultra. Go to Sessions, click the triple thing again, go to your recordings, go to these triple dots here, click the triple dots, and click download. If you click download, it downloads it as an MP3 file. Um, I'm using Chrome. I'm, I've used Chrome for so long, I'm not sure what it looks like in Windows. But you can see it's downloading down there. And then what I like to do is I download this recording and I post it on YouTube. So I go to YouTube. Liam's been using my computer, so don't judge me by whatever comes up here. Probably a lot of cartoons. Oh, good. No, I'm responsible for most of these. Um, then you click, you're at YouTube. I'm assuming you have an account. Um, if you don't, you have to create an account. But see where it says plus, video, plus create a video and more? Right there. Click that button. You don't want to go live, you want to upload a video. And you'll see this. You can either go to where you saved this file on your computer, or you can just click on this with your mouse and drag and drop it into the circle and drop to the races. Now, YouTube isn't going to let me upload it because I uploaded it already today. And YouTube is really good about rep recognizing duplicate uploads. But then you just upload it there. And what you'll see as soon as you upload it, it creates this link that you can copy. and paste into your course shell. And because you've uploaded it in YouTube, it will, ex I misspelled video. Um, it, it, my wife finds that funny. Um, it will exist as long as you have it up on YouTube. So it can exist for ages and ages and ages. Um, so you copy that link, and then you go back to Blackboard, go to your content area, and you're going to create a link just like you did before. Build content. You went to the content area, Dr. Carey's lecture, build content. Then you go to create web link. And it's the exact same process before, but this time you're posting to YouTube. One other thing about this YouTube method is you have to think in advance that you're going to do the YouTube method. So let's go back real quickly to Blackboard Collaborate Ultra. All right, you're in Blackboard Collaborate Ultra. If you want to download your recording before you make the recording, you have to do this before you make the recording. You can't do it ex post facto. You've got to do it before you make the recording. I'm sorry, I'm going all teacher voice on you. Uh, you click the session title, right? You've created a session. You click that session title. Scroll down. It's hard to see here where it says session. Oh, there we go. Session settings. Try saying that 10 times fast. Click the down arrow. Make sure that you click Allow Recording Downloads. If you don't click Allow Recording Downloads before you record, 
you won't be able to save your lecture and transport it to YouTube or even transport it from one semester to the next. So make sure, pardon me, that you click that recording, allow recording downloads before you make the recording. All right, I've covered the two ways that I know how to share a, Black, a Blackboard Collaborate recording. Ramona may have a bunch of others. Kay Cooper is also like my secret weapon in um, Blackboard and knowing my way around it. She is also an expert at this sort of thing, um, but that's how I do it. All right, I'm going to actually be quiet now.